Is it time to start hoarding nickels? Let me open one of these. There we go. Most U.S. nickels are made out of 75% copper and 25% nickel. Recently, we've been seeing the price of both copper and nickel skyrocket. So the question now becomes, should you be hoarding nickels? I'm going to show you how much they're worth right now, as well as show you how to figure out the price. If you're watching this video sometime in the future, obviously the price will fluctuate. And also I'm going to talk about melting them down. Can you melt down nickels right now legally? So let's do it. On Monday, March 7th, 2022, copper prices hit an all-time high. And with all of the inflation that we are seeing across the globe, they are expected to go higher. Nickel prices went up 250% that same day, crossing the $100,000 a ton mark, and the London Metals Exchange had to shut down trading for two days. Because most U.S. nickels are made out of copper and nickel, the question now becomes, should we start hoarding them i mean most of us already know that older u.s pennies are worth more than one cent because of the copper they contain so let's dive in and see how much a modern u.s nickel is worth today according to the u.s mint the composition of a nickel is cupro nickel or 25 percent nickel 75 percent copper in 2021 the u.s mint was set to change the composition to 77 percent copper 20 percent nickel and three percent manganese but it is unclear if these changes have or will ever take place additionally in world war ii the composition of the nickel was changed to help with the war effort there is no nickel in these nickels right here in fact they do contain 35 percent silver as well as manganese and copper you can tell that these are war nickels because there should be a letter above thomas jefferson's house right there and if there is a letter above the monticello then it is a war nickel. The dates are between 1942 and 1945. If you find one of these nickels, you definitely should keep it and hoard it because right now it's worth about $1.45. And that's just because of the silver content. Now let's put all of that aside and just look at the regular modern nickels. In fact, I went down to my bank just now and I asked them for twenty dollars in nickels and this is what they gave me now all of these are going to be the 25 percent nickel 75 percent copper coins so let's figure out what they're worth and to do that we're going to go over to the website coinflation.com okay so here we are and to find out the metal value for modern coins you're simply going to scroll down they have them all listed right here you got pennies nickels dimes quarters etc we're going to check out the nickels They've got general information. This is stuff we already knew, 75% copper, 25% nickel. So they take the copper price, the nickel price, they do some crazy math, put it all together, and this is the bottom line right here. Each nickel is worth 8.6 cents right now. That is the melt value. So the melt value exceeds the face value. It's worth more as scrap metal than it is as a coin real quick i do want to show you what a copper penny is worth right now we got 1909 to 1982 copper pennies they are 95 percent copper five percent zinc so they do all the crazy math and each penny is worth three cents so the base metal value exceeds the face value on copper pennies as well and in fact they beat out the nickels so you definitely should be hoarding your copper pennies as well all right so there you have it nickels are worth more than five cents every single one right here is worth 8.6 cents which means if i were to melt all of these down they wouldn't be worth 20 dollars. instead they'd be worth 34 dollars and 40 cents so the question now becomes can you melt down modern coinage whether it be pennies nickels whatever is it even legal and the answer is no here we are on the u.s mint website and they issued a press release back in december of 2006 
talking about the exportation and melting of coins, specifically one cent denomination and five cent denomination coins, or pennies and nickels. Down here they say specifically the new regulations prohibit, with certain exceptions, the melting or treatment of all one cent and five cent coins. Then they talk about how much you can travel with or mail outside of the country. They talk about the fine, $10,000 or imprisonment. And then they say that the regulations are being issued in the form of an interim rule to be effective for a period of 120 days from the time of publication. So I guess this was just an interim rule and we can now melt them down, right? Wrong. They actually went back and made this a legitimate rule. This is the Federal Register and actually it took them until October. So there was a little bit of a period of time in 2007 where I guess you could have melted down these coins. But basically, uh, this says all the same stuff, same penalties, etc. And if you want to read this for yourself, um, I guess it's kind of boring. But uh, here's the bottom line right here. You're gonna you're gonna get some fines if you melt stuff down. So just keep that in mind. Okay, okay. So you can't melt them down, but you still can trade them for their melt value and not their face value, right? Yes, you can do that. You could use nickels for barter. And if the price of copper and the price of nickel continues to go up and inflation continues to skyrocket for years and years, perhaps we go into hyperinflation or something like that, absolutely you could use these to barter with. So should you hoard them? I guess if you have enough space, then certainly that is something you could do. But obviously hoarding tons of pennies or tons of nickels is going to take up a lot of room. So that's one thing you'll have to think about. But the thing about hoarding nickels is you don't need to sort them because all of the nickels are made out of copper and nickel. I'm just dropping them all over the floor. <laughs> but the pennies, you have to sort them out because the modern pennies, they're worth less than a penny. They're mostly made out of zinc. So keep that in mind. But real quick, I want to show you this company that actually sells copper pennies above their face value. And they just started selling nickels as well. I've looked on their website before and I've never seen nickels before. So maybe I just missed them. But to me, this is new. Uh, and to give you an idea of the pricing, you've got a one-ton lot of copper pennies, $5,600. Uh, 2,200 pounds of U.S. nickels, just under $12,000. And you can take physical delivery of these metals. So I'm not saying that you should necessarily buy from a company like this. I'm sure more than just this one exists. But I am saying that you can actually sell nickels and copper pennies above their face value based on their melt value if companies like this exist and they're actually making money doing it then you could do the same thing as well and you could just get the metals from your bank now obviously they're not going to give you a massive quantity of them but this is possible okay with that i'm going to finish out the video i would like to know all of your thoughts on the rising copper and nickel prices do you think they're going to come crashing down or do you think that with inflation we could see these prices continue to go up for years to come also if you have any questions you can leave a comment down below in the comment section i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you all in the next one silver dragons out.